Now, the irony, if that's the proper word to use, again, I never really know, of the Debo Samuel situation is that he's the guy we didn't expect to be at anything, including mandatory minicamp, and he's there. Then there's DK Metcalf, who by all appearances was fine with the fact that the Seahawks were dragging their feet on his contract, and he has never jostled to go anywhere else, even though the quarterback play in Seattle is going to be less than what it was last year. He doesn't show up for mandatory minicamp, and his absence is not excused. That was a surprise to me. That was a big surprise to me. And it's a sign that, hey, whatever the Seahawks have put on the table so far, not nearly good enough. And, uh, you know, (laughs) they're going to have to dig deep and pay this guy. And he deserves it, even if they don't have the quarterback to get the full extent of his talents. And, And even if their offense in the past hasn't fully showcased him the way that it should, maybe it will. But he wants to get paid. The market has been set, and this guy deserves to be paid like some of the other guys who have gotten their contracts this year. Yeah, he's a special player. I mean, period. And, you know, again, you want to uh, help out some quarterbacks that are unproven. You, know, you want to play run the ball with Kenneth Walker and Rashad Penny and control the clock. Oh, yeah, teams are going to load the box, and now you're going to get some one-on-one matchups outside. And, you know, not too many people on the planet can cover DK Metcalf one-on-one. Yeah, I mean, no question. Like like Debo or A.J. Brown or anybody, we're talking about one of the freakiest guys in football and a guy that's definitely in that convo of top five receivers in the game. So I understand it. He's rehabbing a foot, right? Uh, down in, I, I want to say, was he in L.A. too? Rehabbing, he had this, I know, the surgery in the offseason. So that's probably part of this. But I was surprised, like you, to hear that it was unexcused. And you know, I thought when I first saw that he wasn't at minicamp, I thought, well, well, they just, he's staying away and they've come to an agreement there. I was surprised by that. But, you know, the, the, the more this goes on, and I believe I read something out of Seattle last week that kind of talked about this. I just feel like this is going down um, – we're going to go down T.J. Watt Lane with the Pittsburgh Steelers of last year. It's going to be a hold-in situation. He'll be at training camp. He's not going to really practice. He'll work out and do drills on his own and things like that. And they'll slowly but surely find the right number. And, I, and Seattle seems okay with that. I, that was what I read last week. Was that last week or early this week? But, uh, but why not Why not do the same thing now? I don't know why. Point by you're P right. That's why I don't know. Yes, that, that's where I'm a little surprised. No, I'm kidding. And you're right. I don't know. <laughs> and maybe that's where the rehab part of this is coming into it. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't feel like he's totally 100. But, yes, I, I, I don't have the answer to that. I don't know why you wouldn't do that now right now either. It's, it's a valid point. And they could excuse him. They could excuse him. I know. Unexcused means he can be fined. And the cumulative fine for missing the three-day mandatory minicamp is in the neighborhood of $100,000. It's cheaper overall than it is to hold out of training camp. And and it's more concrete. It's more finite. You make your statement and it's over. If you start missing training camp – you get that number. Maybe that's every why. Day, every exactly. Day, every day. I think that maybe answers Pete's, you know, first good question he's ever had as a human being. That probably did it right there. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, <laughs> it's it's funny. We hear many things in our ears and newsflash. Anybody that watches any amount of TV, you see, you know, we're not in the Secret Service here. We we are communicated with from uh, uh, producers and director, but. Um, I rarely hear a one-word message, and the message when I took the slap at Pete a few minutes ago was, hey! <laughs> and then I got one, too. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.